repeat the logo, it's Board Badger, guest hosting on Tall Tannic. From fire hoses to Vincent Van Gogh, here are 15 Dutch imports and inventions to be thankful for. Number 15, the Olympic flame. So technically, yeah. The idea of the Olympic flame dates all the way back to the times of ancient Greece, where they kept a fire burning throughout the duration of the games. But the Olympic flame most of us are familiar with today is a tradition that goes as far back as 1928, which is much newer in relation to everything else. When designing an Olympic stadium in Amsterdam, architect Jan Wills had designed a tower for smoke to emit from. Cut to two Olympic games later in 1936 in Berlin, Germany, the tradition of the torch relay had begun. Number 14, the fire hose. It's one of those things people take for granted because, let's be honest, who besides a brigade of firefighters ever even need a fire hose? But that doesn't make this invention any less important. Rewind to the year 1673, back to when the first fire hose was ever designed and utilized. During the days of the Dutch Republic, Jan van der Heyden, along with his son Nicolas, had pretty much invented the first fire hose, which back then was made of leather. Number 13, Mads Mikkelsen. One of the greatest international imports to have come out of the Netherlands is of course none other than actor Mads Mikkelsen. At 51 years old, Mikkelsen has had a career in film and television known for his rather deep voice that's both gruff and smooth. When Mikkelsen is in a movie, you always know it. Modern audiences will be more familiar with him from the television series Hannibal, in which he starred as the infamous fictional villain Hannibal Lecter. Lately, however, audiences worldwide have seen Mikkelsen in two most recent blockbusters. One of the newest franchises from the Marvel Universe, Doctor Strange, and the other being the standalone Star Wars anthology film, Rogue One. Number 12, the telescope. The telescope is another one of those things that have helped scientifically advance human civilization to what we are knowledgeable of today. But since we are taught more about what telescopes has taught us rather than much about the telescope itself, here's a bit of true facts. Han Lippershey was known as a maker of spectacles, or glasses, and is the one credited to have invented the earliest telescope. The first telescopes were said to have been made in the early 17th century in 1608. However, there have been others who were said to have discovered telescopes, such as Zacharias Janssen and Jacob Matthias, both Dutch citizens as well. Number 11, the microscope. Not so surprisingly, microscopes are also said to have been invented by the Dutch. It was in the Netherlands after all the telescopes were invented, so why not something similar? Again, Zacharias Janssen had claimed his father had invented not only the telescope, but the microscope as well, with Han Lippershe also being said to have had a hand in inventing microscopes, with some people saying it was really invented by Cornelius Drebbel, or even Galileo. So who actually came up with it? No one knows for sure. Only the prototype for what we know today as microscopes were apparently dated back to around the same time as the telescope had appeared, all in the Netherlands. Number 10, the eye test. The eye exam consists of that poster of letters and numbers at the optometrist's office. It's been a bit more modernized nowadays, but you typically think of that huge letter E that sits at the top of the typology that gets smaller and smaller the further down you move down the list. And you guessed it, that part of the eye test was invented by a Dutch ophthalmologist. Professor of ophthalmology, Herman Snellen came up with the idea that would eventually become the eye test. Number 9, Ole Bolin. Similar to the smoothie bowl in dessert from Belgium, Ole Bolin are scoops of dough that are deep fried. So pretty much, it's what a lot of people would call a donut hole. Just way better. Just look at that doughy goodness with powdered sugar on top. Sometimes the best things in life are the simplest. What's more is that the Netherlands is often cited as the place where donuts were invented. Though there's been some debate about that too. Number 8, Speed Cameras. The history of what many would call the speed camera goes as far back as the start of the camera itself. It was first conceived around 1908, though it was later that century in 1958 that Dutch company Gastometer BV actually produced what would be considered the first speed camera so that Maurice Gastonitis, a rally driver, could better look over the average speeds going down his racetrack. Now you can see speed cameras on every corner, watching everything you do on the road. Number 7, Submarine. Back in 1620, Dutch inventor Cornelius van Drebbel is said to be the first to build a submarine. It probably looked pretty different to the hunks of metal you think of submarines looking like today, as van Drebbel made his submarines using a rowboat made of wood wrapped in leather. Plus, since it was the early 17th century, there wasn't an electrical engine to power it, which of course means operators had to row it underwater. Number 6, Electric Ladyland in Amsterdam. You've probably never experienced anything like the Electric Ladyland Museum in Amsterdam. Claiming to be the world's only fluorescent museum of its kind, it's definitely worlds apart from your local natural history museum. Black lights help set the scenery, since when they come on, patrons are able to be immersed in the colorful, dreamlike rooms. Number 5, Hagelslag. Similar to fairy bread that is said to have originated in Australia, the Dutch have their own version of sprinkles on bread in the form of hagelslag, chocolate sprinkles spread on white bread. Yum yum! 
Created by Gerard de Vries in 1936, Hagelslag has risen to popularity in the Netherlands ever since. And it's a pretty simple concept, yet full of satisfaction and sweetness. Number 4. Super Yachts on top of all the things you didn't know were either invented in the Netherlands or were specialized there, also count in elegant super yachts. Being located in the North Sea means that the Dutch have always had lots of time to specialize in ships, mainly super yachts. No, that isn't a misplaced cruise ship, it's Symphony, a feed ship super yacht built in the Netherlands. For a while, it was known under the name of Project 808, until quite appropriately, officially named as Symphony. Here it is being transported across the Gouda Railway. Maybe one day we'll save up enough to take a cruise on the ocean in one of these things. Number 3. Vincent van Gogh Mocked during his time, Vincent van Gogh ended up being one of the most famous and prolific of artists ever. The 19th century painter was often said to be mad while his landscapes, still lives, and self-portraits appeared like swirls of reality. But it was this style that would be his defining look that would later be beloved by many. The Dutch artist is one of the most iconic painters of all time, having painted the likes of his famous self-portraits in 1889, based with 15 sunflowers in 1888, and perhaps his most famous, Starry Night, in 1889. Number 2. Bluetooth Dutch electrical engineer Dr. Jap Hartson is known for the invention of what has been dubbed as Bluetooth. It was while he was working for Ericsson, a Dutch company that specializes in telecommunications equipment in the early to mid 90s that Hartson designed what would later become Bluetooth. Without Hartson, we wouldn't have the wireless exchange standard we use so frequently. So think of that the next time you're connecting the music from your phone to jam out in your car. Number 1. Wi-Fi a man known as Victor Hayes is often referred to as the father of Wi-Fi, and it is him along with those working in the IEEE 80211 group that worked on the wireless local area networks in the Netherlands that we have to thank for what helps many of us do our jobs and saves us from boredom. Named as a pun on the phrase hi-fi and the word wireless, the precursor to Wi-Fi was brought to the world in 1997, and the Wi-Fi we know today would not have been possible without the contributions of that group chaired by Hayes. Where would we be without the Dutch? Am I right? <laughs> if you want to see more of me, click the link right here. Yeah. See ya!